Hey guys, welcome to my 2020 room tour. I actually finished this back in April, I want to say, and um, I've just been adding things here and there. But yeah, I'm really excited about how everything came together and it turned out. So without further ado, let's go check it out. So that was a little overview slash video montage of my room as a whole. So next we'll be checking out some things at a closer look and uh, talking about some DIYs I did. Starting off we got my desk area which has definitely been my quarantine holy grail and we've got my chargers, my Totoro lamp, and my language learning whiteboard. My uncle actually custom built the floating portion of my desk into the wall for me which is friggin awesome and yeah. Next up we got my shoe rack area as well as my Polaroid picture frame. These are just some lights from Amazon. They were gifted to me from a friend and uh, you know, just had to arrange them accordingly. Got some Shiba stickers in there. This is actually my infinity light table minus the batteries. Moving on to my makeup area, I have my trifold mirror in the center with some Hollywood lights going on for some good lighting and uh, a lot of my makeup is actually stored on the right side. This is actually meant to be an office desk, but I ended up repurposing it and I love the turnout. Right above my makeup desk area, I actually have my hats pinned with just some clear thumbtacks and I got a little storage space on top of my desk for some knickknacks. Right to the left of my desk, I got my workout basket, which is, you know, hidden decor as well as storage. And right behind my mirror, I also have some, a little extra hidden space for my yoga mat as well. Here we can see my mirror, which is definitely the centerpiece of my room. One of my favorite parts about my room is actually these shelves, which are DIY'd from some old shoe racks, believe it or not. I ended up painting those posts black, sawing off the bottom, and just buying some brackets from Amazon. And I think they came out pretty cool. I use them for extra storage. Right there's my vitamin box. <laughs> Moving down to my dog area, we got some treats in the corner. And here is my clearly loved pets cage that I can take apart and rearrange. I chose to put my TV stand at the edge of my bed because honestly whenever my TV was on a wall it was too far for me because I wear glasses so having my TV here is really convenient. Around my bed I have a few items such as my air purifier, air conditioner, as well as my bedside table which holds a few things. Over here we have my jewelry and coat rack area, which are actually both DIYs. The jewelry rack is actually just a towel rack and hooks from Amazon, and the coat rack is just cement and some dowels from Home Depot. So that was a closer look at my room, where I got a lot of my ideas actually from Pinterest, and next we're going to be taking a look at my bathroom and my closet. So this is my closet area where I got these special hangers from Amazon just to be a little more organized. 
Over here we got my drawers and then up on top I have some extra storage space just for my shoes, winter clothes, and also stuff that my friends leave at my house. <laughs> This is the bathroom portion of my closet and bathroom area. This is my sink that we got from Home Depot and this is a medicine cabinet. And over here I just have my bathrobe, a little bit of decor. And this is a view right outside my window. And that concludes my 2020 room tour. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked, give it a big thumbs up and also comment, you know, if you liked any Pinterest DIYs you found here. 